Okay, so here's the project I'm working on. I am making a barrel stove where you buy this kit from different places. This came from Northern Tool. And you put the end on the, uh, the access door and you use a barrel. Like most of the time a 55 gallon drum is used like this one. What I am going to do is use, I think this is a 30 gallon drum. And then the 30 gallon drum will go inside the 55 gallon drum and use the 55 gallon drum as a heat exchanger. I've seen some other ideas where people build boxes around them and whatnot. So I think this might be an easier, more effective way. We'll see. Okay, so here is the uh, finished project, the barrel stove with the heat exchanger. And you can see that uh, I have a pipe on the back that's going into the garage in a four inch hole in the window. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to insulate this pipe to even get more heat. But uh, you can see the fire is stoking away in there. We gotta add a little, little more wood pretty soon. It'll even be hotter. And so on the inside, what we have is an exhaust fan bought off of eBay and uh, it even, I even was able to buy a uh, speed controller, which you can make from a dimmer switch anyway. But uh, just to show you how hot it is, we're going to take this thermometer, an automotive thermometer, for air, testing air conditionings and whatnot, and we'll just see how hot it's coming out. Going up to 140. I had 160 a couple minutes ago. But like I said, once I insulate that pipe, get a little more wood in there, I wouldn't be surprised if I see 200. Um, hopefully, this fan can take that. I don't know what kind of temperatures it's rated for. I guess as long as the air is moving by it. Well, you can see it's about 140 right now. So that's it. Okay, hopefully you can see now it's gone over 200. Put a hotter fire in there and still I have not put the insulation on. So I'm pretty happy about this. And uh, just to say, uh, the chimney pipe from the smaller drum coming up through the larger drum had it be uh, cemented with chimney cement because I uh, first had a little problem even though it was on there tight. I guess it was pulling uh, smoke from around the edges and things like that and it was blowing into the shop and smelling. But uh, that's it. We're over 200 degrees, heading for 220. That's the limit on this monitor. Okay. Okay, two things. Uh, the, um, the fan I used could not take the heat that it was drawing out from the back pipe back there. It was way too hot and it would go into a thermal shutdown. So I had to come up with another idea which is now I'm using the fan with a second hose, that four incher you see. And that fan is on the inside as it was before but it's blowing the pressure into this tube right here. And then it comes out over here like you used to but now it's being pushed through so there's no burning hot air going through the uh the fan also i put this uh wrapped it with insulation then put this seven inch pipe over top of it to hold the insulation keep it dry i'll probably make a little hood right here so it doesn't get wet a little final touches later and then going in on the inside you can see now i have two ports. One is the blower that's taking air from the shop and actually it's recycling it so hot air can keep getting hotter. And it's going, it's pushing it out into the furnace or the stove and then it comes back in through this pipe and you could see probably that it's already about 250 degrees coming in. My hand is getting burned right now being in front of it. And it's still, the fire is still coming up. So I'll see what the final temperature is. 
Okay, so today is uh, really cold, like 17 degrees, and I moved the uh, barrel stove over to the house where it's actually going in the window of the basement where my workshop is because that part is on heated. So I realized it wasn't going to keep the, uh, the pole barn warm without me doing an insulation job in it. But uh, it seems to be working pretty well down there. Uh, there's two doors down there that close off the shop from the rest of the basement where that side is heated. So uh, I'll let you know how the temperature works out. Okay, here's what it looks like on the inside of the workshop. Um, you can see that the temperature is pretty cold right now down here, which is at 45 degrees. And then the uh, temperature of the air coming out is around 200. At the moment, maybe a little less. I'm trying to get the fire hotter. Like I said it was extremely cold out today. It was uh, about uh, zero this morning. Today, the whole day, it's not supposed to get higher than what it is right now, about 18. Okay, so uh, it's been running for hours, fueled the fire a couple times. And uh, you can see I have uh, 70 degrees inside now, up from 45. You know, like I said, it's a really cold day out today. This, this should perform a lot better on a warmer day. And I don't know if you can see that. Wow, it's hot. Uh, 300 degrees coming out of that pipe. Too hot to even keep the camera there because it's burning my hands. All right, I'm happy. Okay, one more small detail. I'm sure I'll be doing lots more modifications along the way as I think of things that might make it work better. But I put a piece of uh, aluminum screen, like for a screen window or whatever, and my god this is hot. Uh, over the um, the pressure port with the, you know, the, the side that the heat is coming in. And uh, just in case a stray spark somehow to find its way loose from the inner barrel to the outer barrel that way you know hopefully it would catch it and it'd be no problem at all okay the barrel stove project is about done I moved it from the uh, pole barn that's made out of wood and steel uh, you really can't heat it up without me insulating it and uh, I can't put it inside because I work on things with gasoline in it and you can't put out a uh, fire in two seconds like you can shut off electricity so that's why it needs to be outside in this kind of fashion now these holes here that are plugged now were from the first design where I didn't have a pressure hose and it had to draw air and I just thought it wasn't getting enough airflow so I made these extra holes for intakes but now that it has a pressure hose the air comes through it so I made these plugs for it out of aluminum and then out goes the hot air into the house and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.